This is Terrence Andre Banks with Information Age Financial Solutions coming to you today talking about Bitcoin and gold. I came across this very interesting article with 12 reasons gold is better than Bitcoin. Um, I'm not here to argue that point. I just want to point out the article itself for something, if you, especially if you're looking into taking ownership of Bitcoin, some things you need to consider. Um, I did a video about this and the pros and cons of Bitcoin in, in the past recently. Um, so this article just adds on to that and, and gives it from a different perspective, uh, putting the two to, against each other. Now, I'm a fan of Bitcoin, I'm also a proponent of gold because I own gold and I own silver and I'm, those are just some things that I own. But helping you to make a distinction is should you buy Bitcoin, this is another article to take in consideration as well. Um, the world is going wild for the cryptocurrency known as Bitcoin. One, Bitcoin will set you back. 4425 the time of writing this. That, that's up from the less than $600 a year ago, according to Coinbase. But a word of caution, gold is still better a better bet for anyone who wants to own a time-tested asset. And here's why. And it goes through the advertising. One, gold has a 5,000-year history as a long-term store of wealth. Bitcoin doesn't even have a 100-year track record. Good point. Number two, there's always a ready and liquid market for gold. Even during the financial crisis when the market of other securities just dried up, you could buy and sell your gold with ease. Bitcoin was invented in 2008, partway through the crisis. So we don't know whether it would truly pass the test until we have the next crisis. I pointed that out in my pros and cons of Bitcoin. Number three, gold can protect you from nuclear radiation. It's commonly known that lead can protect humans from gamma rays. Gold does the same, but even better than lead as, as long as you have enough of it. Point provides no such protection. Number four, gold is safer. Stealing volumes of the metal can be surprisingly hard. The industry standard for a 400 ounce gold bar worth a little more than 500,000 each at the time of writing is particularly unwieldy to mold. Unwieldy, unwieldy to mold. I'm sorry, I'm not pronouncing that correctly. If you're in any doubt, take a visit to Friendly Gold Vault and ask to lift one such bar. To abscond with a haul of 5 million you need to move 10 such ignots, which will be time consuming for the thief. For cryptocurrency, stealing large dollar values is easy, at least judging by a quick scan of the news stories which cover such heists. I didn't put that in my um, my video and some of the consideration. I, uh, Bitcoin still, it's hard to do, but it has been scanned and they do have, they have had heists of that. So I didn't put that in. So that's why I'm calling this article because it brings some other things to my attention. You can wear gold as jewelry, not so much for Bitcoin. Gold is a superb electrical conductor, which is why it's used in electronics for space travel. Bitcoin does not conduct electricity. Good point. That was number six. There's a number. Oh, I gotta read the other part here. Continue from page one. Gold has never been out of fashion. Never. It's hard to tell with Bitcoin, it's just too new. You don't need a web connection to use your gold. For ease of use, you, your Bitcoin wallet needs you need to in, the internet for you to transfer it or spend it. The website consutra.com explains the Bitcoin situation in some more detail. I only use web wallets to keep small amounts of Bitcoin similar to a wallet in my pocket for daily transaction. And I use desktop wallets to keep Bitcoins, which I'm not using for daily transactions. So that whenever required, I could quickly connect my desktop wallet to Bitcoin network and transfer Bitcoins. In other words, the web is a pip, is a pivotal is a vital part of the matter. Gold never tarnishes, even when it has been languishing on the ocean floor for hundreds of years. Never, Bitcoin doesn't either. But again, again, it's not metal. Gold is an aphrodisiac. I've seen champagne served with gold leaf in it and burgers sprinkled with gold flakes on top. Not so much for Bitcoin. That's probably because you can't eat Bitcoin. Bitcoin is clearly in a speculative bubble. When the bubble ends, lots of money will be lost. Gold isn't in any bubble. Bitcoin is still experimental. According to Bitcoin.org, not so much for gold. Now, he just made those 12 different points of why Bitcoin is better than gold. I wish I had known some of these things before making my video. Um, or came across this article before my video. I would probably put some in there as well. Again, I'm still a fan of Bitcoin. Um, but I own gold and silver, so that's why the, the article stepped, stepped to my attention, and I 
course, I want to bring it out to everyone who's looking to purchase Bitcoin to, to not discount gold and definitely have a part of your arsenal. Until my next video, 12 Reasons Gold is Better Than Bitcoin, something to take into consideration, something to look into, and I'm out.